Christian Pentecostal Mission International, Houston, Texas, presents Your Hour of Miracle. Are you dejected? Rejected? Battered? Confused or depressed? I have good news for you, there is hope. The blind see, the lame walk, sinners are saved, captives are set free, it is never a dull moment. Ministering, Dr. Frank Benjamin, host. Reverend Dr. O. Ezekiel, the General Overseer, and Reverend Dr. M. Ezekiel, the National and International Coordinator, come and experience the God of Wonder, CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. Tell him, Lord, I love you. Just wave it. Let your passion flow towards the King of Kings. Bring a baby. Is it grace? How sweet the sound. I say, a wretch like me. me. I was, 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 but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Touch you. Oh, he will touch you. Oh, the joy that fills ah, my your soul. Something happened. Now I know he will touch you. Everlasting joy. I'm talking to some.
in the midst of that disaster. I stand this name this morning, the name that is above everything. But in the midst of your shame, God will give you opportunities. You found yourself where you should not find yourself. And you've been crying. How did I walk into it? I announced to you. God will give you an unusual surprise. If you believe, shout a louder, Amen. God will give you an unusual miracle. God will turn your shame to miracles. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, welcome. God will give you your miracles. Say, neighbor, sit with me now. All right, sit down. Christian Pentecostal Mission International presents Open Heavens with Reverend Dr. Mercy Zekiel, life in Houston. God created you for a purpose, and that purpose must come to pass. Enough is enough. Stand up, leave them behind. will bless you. That is where God will surprise you. That is where God will elevate you. Reverend Johnson say, What God has given to you in destiny. If I am God's servant on this altar today, that person must bow before you. Princess Anne, yeah. Dr. Frank C. Benjamin. This program is a miracle service. It's not a day of too much of talk talk. It's a day of the manifestation of the power of God. Therefore, something will happen this morning. Holy God! That's the power. That's the power. Yes, yes. I said it. I said it. What a power, what a power. At the count of three, let the power, the power. One, two, three, come and take it. Let me the power is there. That's the power, that's the power. That's the power, somebody help that's the power. That's the power, that's the power. That's the power, that's the power. Oh my God, look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. The anointing is there. The anointing is there. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The power, the power. What a mighty God we serve. This God is too much. And it's too big that the whole world cannot contain him. Because he's the creator of the whole universe. Do you have any problem? Come around. You will know that he can solve any problem. And I want you to know that Jesus loves you. And will love you too. I am Dr. Messi Ezekiel. I welcome you and I want you to know that you are blessed because you are somebody. We love you. Date Wednesday 14 to Sunday the 18th of November 2018. Venue Christian Pentecostal Mission International. 11309 Bazonia Street, Houston, Texas 77099. Time 7 p.m. daily. And Sunday 1 p.m. Telephone 7737393315. The blind see. The lame work. Sinners are set free. Come expecting your miracle. The CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. Prayer queries the foundations of trouble. What do I say? Prayer queries are like query, but I now turn it to queries. Huh? You understand? What do I say queries? Prayer. Does what? Queries what? The foundation of what? 
any trouble where in your life amen are you saying amen prayer is very very important because it can cause your problems to receive queries from heaven when you pray heaven is to pay attention and query will be coming left and right ah, that is my child you are holding you are not supposed to hold him query will be coming the angels will come lose this child it's not your own this is not your meat this is not your meat this does not belong to you they will be blocking query 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 and the person holding you will lose you am I communicating but if you don't pray, they will hold you there. Everybody shout out prayer. I'm not hearing you. I was told a story of a young man. This man was 45. No wife. No home. Living with squatting. Let me put it word squatting. And uh, one of the days, he went out, 45 when he went out, he was passing through and went to hit somebody and kill the person. He was passing through. He wasn't the driver, but he was passing through. Went to hit the person, and the person died. Immediately, one person pointed to him and said, you are the one. And he was telling them, the person that hit the man has gone. So he was telling them, I'm just passing. They said, no, you are the one. They took him to detention for 20 good years. So when he was 65, the person that hit the person came to the court and told them, please, that person you held for 20 years. I'm the one who did. But they have delayed him for 65 years. And he couldn't come out to fix himself to the society. Picking nugget. House nugget. Everything. Please stay with me. Look at me. There are people that trouble follows right from the mother's womb. You remember? There are people, people like Esau and others, right from the mother's womb. Something went wrong. See with me, say, trouble will not follow me. Get angry with yourself and tell yourself, trouble will not follow me. Say it over and over to yourself. Say, what I don't know will not follow me. Say, every programming shall never locate me. If you believe that, shout a louder, amen. amen. All right, sit down. Point one, I want you to write it down. The root of the problem was this man, the root of his own problem was in his name. What do I call it? That is point one. The root of the problem was where? 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 In the name. If you look at Genesis 32, 27 and 28. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. But Israel, for as a prince, has thou power with God and with men, and has prevailed. Amen. Lift up your Bible and say with me. Say, I will, I will prevail. Over any evil name. That has been trailing my life. That was given to me by my parents. Consciously, unconsciously. Today, God has changed my name. From today, I have power with God. 
I'm with men. And I am blessed. Say amen. amen. Please, darling, help me tell yourself I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Please help me say it better. I'm say it loud. I'm I want to hear your voice. I'm say it for the last one. Christian Pentecostal Mission International presents. Open heavens. With Reverend Dr. Mercy Zekiel, life in Houston. God created you for a purpose. And that purpose must come to pass. Enough is enough. Stand up. Leave them behind. Tell them I'm going somewhere. I will overtake them. I will overtake them. They believe that shout hallelujah. Then you where you think you have failed in your life. That is where God will bless you. That is where God will surprise you. That is where God will elevate. Reverend John said, What God has given to you in destiny, if I am God's servant on this altar today, that person must bow before you. Princess Anne, yeah. Dr. Frank C. Benjamin. This program is a miracle service. It's not a day of too much of talk talk. It's a day of the manifestation of the power of God. Therefore, something will happen this morning. Holy God! That's the power. That's the power. Yes, yes. I said it. I said it. What a power, what a power. At the count of three, let the power, the power. One, two, three, come and take it now. In the middle, the power is there. That's the power, that's the power. That's the power, somebody help that's the power. That's the power, that's the power. That's the power, that's the power. Oh my God, look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. The anointing is here. The anointing is there. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The power, the power. What a mighty God we serve. This God is too much. And it's so big that the whole world cannot contain him. Because he's the creator of the whole universe. Do you have any problem? Come around. You will know that he can solve any problem. And I want you to know that Jesus loves you. And will love you too. I am Dr. Messi Ezekiel. I welcome you and I want you to know that you are blessed because you are somebody. We love you. Date Wednesday 14th to Sunday the 18th of November 2018. Venue Christian Pentecostal Mission International. 11309 Ambazonia Street, Houston, Texas 77099. Time 7 p.m. daily. And Sunday 1 p.m. Telephone 7737393315. The blind see. The lame work. Sinners are set free. Come expecting your miracle. The CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord. If you are blessed, shout a louder amen. amen. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You will not bear the old name again. God has given you a new name. And you will not go back to that old name again. Because you have power. And you are a prince. You will rule. You will dominate. You will take over. In this nation. And wherever you might find yourself. You are blessed. If you believe that, shout a louder, amen. amen. Take your seat. Thank you. There are a lot of problems we face as Christians through the names we bear. And a lot of names are associated to ancestral demons. 
Oshu. You know their names. They be Kamalo. Huh? So those names. Ogun. Ogun she yo she you know. And Ogun is God of iron, God of the road, accident, all those things. So we, we need to look into our name. This young man had a problem. And his problem was his name. He said, you are born to be a prince. You are born to be somebody. You are born to prevail. But your name has limited you. I stand to let you know that everything called name that has limited you in your life shall no more perform. It shall no more stand. So before you give names to your children, watch it. Watch those names you give up. Some people will say, um, it's my, it's my grand-grand-grandfather's name. Did you ask them how they ended? Those names you pick up. Did you ask your grand-grand-grandmother, father, grand-grandmother, how they ended? Many of them ended bad. You will not end bad. So any evil name that has been trailing you today, those names, I command them to catch fire. Those names shall no more have power over your life. It was when the angel changed the name of Jacob that his life blossomed. He was able to meet things he wanted to do in his life and I speak to you from today everything that has been standing between you and your next level because of the name they call you shall no more stand say father any evil name attached to any demons attached to any deity Attached to any shrine, attached to anything that's not of God, shall no more have power over my life. They shall not prevail over my life. I resist them and I command them to lose their hands over my life in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. If you believe that, shout a louder, amen. amen. Take your seat. Prayer queries the foundation of any trouble in your life. One of the things that brings trouble is wrong name. When you bear wrong name. Number two. Number two. The root of the problem you might have is from the womb. I want you to look at Genesis 25, 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy boys. And the one shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. That is where the problem of Esau came from right from the mother's womb his destiny was diverted to his junior brother I don't know whom you are you have struggled you have tried nothing is working out prayer can query that thing and your destiny shall be returned So, whatsoever that took away your destiny shall release it back to you. Say with me, say, Father, in the family where I was born, whatsoever that tampered with my children's destiny, I stand for my children. And I stand to reclaim back 
the destiny of my children. My children's destiny shall not be diverted, shall not be taken away. You foul spirit, you works of devil. I stand in the name of Jesus Christ and I challenge you, you destined waster. You not waste my own. You not waste my children's destiny. My children must be great. My children must be achievers. Nobody will swallow my destiny. I challenge it. And I speak to you mountains. You mountains. That took over. The mount. The, the destiny. In the family. I charge you to lose your hands. I must be great in that family. Say it again. Nobody will collect my blessing. Nobody will collect what belongs to me. You divert us of blessing. You divert us of destiny. You're a liar. I'm a royal child. I am a priesthood. Christian Pentecostal Mission International presents. Open heavens with Reverend Dr. Mercy Zeki, life in Houston. God blessed you for a purpose, and that purpose must come to pass. Enough is enough. Stand up, leave them behind. Tell them I'm going somewhere. I will overtake them. I will overtake them. Can you believe that? Shout hallelujah. Thank you where you think you have failed in your life. That is where God will bless you. That is where God will surprise you. That is where God will elevate. Reverend Johnson said, What God has given to you in destiny. If I am God's servant on this altar today, that person must bow before you. Princess Anne, yeah. Ian. Dr. Frank C. Benjamin. This program is a miracle service. It's not a day of too much of talk talk. It's a day of the manifestation of the power of God. Therefore, something will happen this morning. Holy God! That's the power. That's the power. Yes, yes. <laughs> I said it. I said it. What a step! What a power! What a power! At the count of three, let the power, the power. One, two, three. Come and take it now. In the middle, the power is there. That's the power. That's the power. That's the power. Somebody help! That's the power. 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 Oh my God! Look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. Look at what God is doing here. Yeah, no, it is there. Yeah, no, it is there. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! The power! The power! What a mighty God we serve. This God is too much. And it's so big that the whole world cannot contain him. Because he's the creator of the whole universe. Do you have any problem? Come around. You will know that he can solve any problem. And I want you to know that Jesus loves you. And will love you too. I am Dr. Messi Ezekiel. I welcome you and I want you to know that you are blessed because you are somebody. We love you. Date Wednesday 14 to Sunday the 18th of November 2018. Venue Christian Pentecostal Mission International. 11309 and Street, Houston, Texas 77099. Time 7 p.m. daily. And Sunday 1 p.m. Telephone 7737393315. The blind see. The lame work. Sinners are set free. Come expecting your miracle. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord.
Jesus Christ is Lord.